Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial you'll learn how to create a color sampler. This patch right here, right down below, is from New Color Studio and he created this one right here. It's really helpful if you want to know which color is in your um, screen and um, how you can add this sweet uh, plane so you can fix the color you need or want to see and yes let's start with this project okay let's start and uh, first of all you need to see the patch editor so go to view patch editor and we start with coordinates we need for our texture sample so go to your device and drag and drop and then we need the screen screen pen as well and we create we need the information of our screen size and the 2d position and we need for that to unpack the values for our X and Y coordinates. Go to screen size and unpack just two values. And we go to our 2D position, unpack of like two vectors X and Y and then we create form range from range range sorry two of them and now you have to understand we have um, the values um, zero zero in the left corner and one one in the other corner this is later for our range for our texture sample we need a range between zero and one to um, set the range for that we use the maximum from our pack here so this is x and this is y in this case and we need this range here, this is x and this is y for our, from our screen tab. So when you later um, go over your, with the finger um, over your screen, you can tap the value you need with that. So these two values combine and pack in one. So pack it again in the two values and create now the va value so we translate the value there to every time to and then go to texture sample texture sampler and we have now we need this this one right here we now use these values right here for our UV and we just and this is why we need the form range. We can't just add the range between by UV between 0 and 1. Now we need the texture. The texture is our camera texture. So go to camera texture extraction camera texture zero right here we need to transform this one so texture transformation and texture here and now we need of course our um, color sample so I'll go to plane call this one color sample material I just uh, it's a little bit too big so 1.7 is fine I tested before uh, material this is our color sampler material call it like that color sample is also fine Perfect, and we need the texture right here. And 
it's working. And when you now go to simulate touch and simulate the touch and drag over the screen, you can um, find the whole range of oh, blue. Yeah, the colors you find here. But maybe you want to drag this um, color sample plane. Go to this is a 3D model, but we just want to drag the X and Y coordinates and not uh, the, the Z coordinates. And we need the offset for that. Unpack. We need two coordinates because there are just two coordinates. We have just a 2D screen. <laughs> and then we need two divides, one for X and Y. Divide one and divide. You maybe see this patch before in this tutorial right here, where you learn something about uh, the gallery texture. And now we need to pack this again. Pack and just the X and Y, uh, Z is zero. And you now go to your color sample, position, make sure you have three vectors and then you can drag it but it disappear so again you need the information 2000 um, for x and minus 2000 for uh, the y value but i have some problems with uh, the value 2000 because he, he hacks a comma to that so it's a little bit weird but if you have problems like me to set 2000 now it's working, well, maybe uh, it's fine right now, but sometimes it's uh, switched to, to the number two and then it's uh, the best when you just add a, a comma to uh, zero zero behind that. So you make sure it's really, it's here, this um, Spark AI understands that you mean the number 2000 and not uh, 2.0, okay? And now you can drag your panel or plane just like you want it and have the result. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want, please leave a subscription or uh, of course a thumbs up. If you have questions or better some ideas for new tutorials, please let me know in the comments down below and of course share this tutorial with your friends and everyone who wants to know this thank you very much i really appreciate your time and uh, enjoy the process bye bye <laughs>